How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here, and today I have a quick video on how to fix the system clock not syncing when dual booting Linux with Windows. So on this computer, I'm dual booting Windows 11 with Ubuntu 2204. So if we take a look at the time here on Ubuntu, you can see that the time is 3.45 p.m., which is the correct time when I recorded this video. So now if I restart and boot into Windows 11, you'll see that the system time is wrong and that it says 7.47 p.m. So it's about four hours ahead. The reason why this happens is that Linux sets the real-time clock, which is the hardware clock managed by your BIOS, in universal time, also known as UTC, while Windows maintains its clock in local time, so there's a conflict between the two time standards. So to fix this, we're going to need to restart our computer and boot back into Linux, then open up a terminal window. In Ubuntu, you can open up the terminal with the keyboard shortcut Control alt t or by the old-fashioned way by just searching for it. Once the terminal is open, you can enter the command timedatectl. You can see that the local time is showing the correct time, but universal is 4 hours ahead, and the RTC is being set to universal time, which is then being reflected in Windows. So we need to set Ubuntu to local time. So the command to set Linux, or Ubuntu in this case, to local time is timedatectl, set local RTC, 1, adjust system clock. I'll leave the command in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it into the terminal. If you enter the command timedatectl again, at the bottom if it says RTC in local TZ as yes, then you should be good to go. Now restart your PC and boot back into Windows. When you boot back into Windows, you'll probably still notice that your time is still incorrect. Just right click on the clock and choose adjust date and time. Then simply switch the set time automatically switch to off, then turn it on again to correctly set the time in Windows. Now if you boot back into Linux and then boot back into Windows, the time will be synced and set correctly. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one.